Hello everyone, welcome back for another video. Today I'm gonna show you how to set up the Google Nest Wi-Fi. So before that, let's check out the specs. Here we have the Wi-Fi router. So this router supports AC2200. Uh, it's capable of multiple input and multiple output. On 5 gigahertz, uh, it supports four by four. So four input and four output. But on 2.4 gigahertz band, uh, it only supports two by two. So let's check out the bottom. Uh, we'll see there's two ethernet ports and one power port. Uh, this one, you connect this to the modem and this one, you can connect this directly to your computer or you can connect this to a network switch at least with eight ports. So you can connect more computers or devices through wired. Here's the QR code. So you can use this to set up this device and I will show that to you later, how to use that. Let's move on to the Wi-Fi point. So the Wi-Fi point, you can actually use this as a smart speaker and uh, there's four microphones. It's an array of microphone. So somewhere here are the touch capacitive buttons. So you can turn the volume up and down. So in the bottom of this device, you'll see another QR code. This is used for setting up this device. So on this one, you can peel it off once you're done. And here's a power port. And here's a microphone switch. So it will not pick up your command, hey Google. So it will not wake it up. So this position, that's turned off and that's on. So let's set this thing up. So now I have the modem right here. It's already set up, it's powered on, connected to the uh, coaxial cable. And here's my Wi-Fi router. So I'm gonna connect this to my modem first. And then connect the power. And then we're gonna wait for the light here to be uh, in, in breathing mode. So now the light is in breathing mode now. That means it's ready for setup. So all you need to do is to download Google Home app or if you have a Pixel phone, that's it. that app is already built into the phone. So open Google Home app and tap the plus sign or the plus button on the top left corner. Tap setup device and tap the new devices. And if you don't have the home address here yet, then add another home or add home. For me, I already have this set up before. So I'm just gonna leave that and then tap next. So right now it's looking for the Wi-Fi router. Okay, it found the router. So tap next to proceed to set up. And then the QR code. This is the reason why I did not connect a uh, network cable to a computer in here first because it, it will not um, block the QR code. And then just scan it using the phone. Okay, it's scanned. Connected. So it's asking where is this device? Choose a location for your Nest Wi-Fi router. This will help organize your devices. So I'm just gonna select other in here. And then create a Wi-Fi name. 
So Wi-Fi name. Um, that and then a password next this is for the analytics this is actually up to you if you want to send the usage stats so I'm just gonna select yes I'm in uh, same thing here I'm in it's up to you guys if you want to say no so right now it's still in breathing mode oh it looks like it's done connect phone to the Wi-Fi router okay it's already connected and done Now it's asking setting up multiple devices. I'm gonna go get the other one. So now I'm gonna turn on this device because we're gonna set this up. Okay, I'm gonna say yes here. Right now it's telling you to put it somewhere in the house but right now I'm just gonna put it here hi to get started use the Google home app on a phone or tablet okay that looks like it's ready now so tap next and then next okay Wi-Fi point found. Would you like to set up? Yes. Okay, connected. Yay. Yes, I did hear the sound. Did you guys hear that sound? Legal terms, I agree. So this is analytics again. So, yes, I'm in. And this one where is this device so I'm gonna say this is going to be in the living room so living room next okay connected Wi-Fi point has been added to your Wi-Fi network tap next So right now it's saying activate voice match on this device. Okay, next. Agree. Right now it knows I already set up my Google voice match. So I don't really need to do that. So let's wait for this one to be done. I agree. I did the voice match on my phone before so I don't really have to do it again on the other Google Home devices I have Pandora continue says it's ready continue want to set up another Nest Wi-Fi device so if you have another Wi-Fi point then you can set up from here so I'm just gonna choose not now so it's testing the mesh connection right now since this is really close so I expect to be the connection to be to be really strong that would be weird that if it turns out really weak okay great connection Okay, those details. Continue. Hi, I'm your Google Assistant. I'm here to help. To learn a few things you can do, continue in the Google Home app. Okay, just more. Finish setup. That's it. So that's how you set up the Google Nest Wi-Fi. So right now, it's in the living room. 
and other I'm just gonna change this to like small bedroom okay save small bedroom why is not showing up out here small bedroom so there's two devices in my home now if time would not be an issue the areas that I would like to test are performance stress and range but in order not to make this video too long more than it already is I will just test the Wi-Fi performance before running the performance test let's check the router's connection to the internet my internet plan is 100 megabits per second download and 10 megabits per second upload so it should get that speed to test the performance first we need a baseline and that is the gigabit ethernet connection we will copy a file from the pc to the nas and take note of the performance next we will copy the same file to the nas but this time the pc is connected to the router wirelessly and for the final test we will run a file transfer again but this time the pc is connected to the wi-fi point open the google home app and then select the wi-fi router and then tap run speed test so as you can see i'm getting what i'm paying for copy this one gigabyte file drop it in here so as you can see it's like 110 114 megabytes per second so that's for gigabit ethernet connection now the laptop is wirelessly connected to the Google Nest Wi-Fi router now so we're gonna check the performance so I'm gonna drop the same one gigabyte file now so as you can see it's getting like around 80 megabytes per second it's actually pretty good speed and to think this is still AC uh, Wi-Fi and this laptop is actually capable of uh, the new Wi-Fi protocol so this is actually capable of Wi-Fi 6 but my Wi-Fi router is only Wi-Fi AC so it's actually a very good performance but do keep in mind guys the laptop is actually like about one meter away from the router so the farther the wi-fi client gonna be away from the wi-fi router the weaker gonna be the signal is and so the performance will also degrade so to show you how far the wi-fi router and the wi-fi point are so i placed the wi-fi router underneath the tv right here and this is in the small room and the other one is in the living room so right here I placed the Wi-Fi point right here I tested the mesh connection and it says the signal is great so there should be no performance problem in there so finally the laptop is connected to the Wi-Fi point so let's see how's the performance with this setup Oh, that is really slow. So 
so about two minutes and 28 seconds so that was really slow guys the google nest wi-fi router and the wi-fi point has a retail price of 269 dollars but i only paid for about 216 dollars out the door after a 70 dollar discount on march this year i am very satisfied with this router for i no longer have problems controlling my smart bulbs switch and plugs on my previous routers my smart devices consistently dropping off the network and i was not able to control them when that happens the poor performance of the wi-fi point never really bothered me because my laptop i use for work is connected via ethernet i never really transfer large files on my nas via wi-fi anyway my mobile devices are still getting 100 megabits per second download and 10 megabits per second upload when using the internet when connected to the wi-fi point so it never really bothered me as i am getting good signal throughout the house on another note the audio quality of the wi-fi point is surprisingly very good good enough that i rarely listen music to my focal speakers now well that's it for this video thank you for watching please subscribe if you like it stay busy and i will see you on the next one hey google say something funny what happens when a frog's car breaks it gets towed say something funny again what do you call a shoe made out of a banana a slipper.